Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I know that we have guests from around the world here, so welcome. I'm Han Brown, the host of the Boomer Living Broadcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. It means a lot to me that you took time out of your busy schedules to be here. Please take a minute to introduce yourselves in the comments. Let us know where you're from and what industry you're in. We'd love to get to know you better. Well, there is no secret that marketing to seniors can be a challenge. They're generally more skeptical and jaded than other groups, and for good reason. In the past, salespeople and marketers have contacted seniors out of the blue, try to sell them something that they didn't need, and then vanish. They've been treated like a dollar sign and not human beings. But seniors are people too, with emotions and feelings just like everyone else. And they're tired of being treated like objects. They want ads that are relevant to their lives, not irrelevant noise. They want brands that improve their lives, not empty promises. And they definitely don't want to be pressured into buying something they don't need. As marketers, we all can improve our image among seniors. Listen to what they want and need and create product and services that improve their lives. Only then, we will be able to build relationship with them based on trust and mutual respect. So today's topic is 10 things you need to know to successfully market to seniors. Well, when it comes to marketing, we all know that one size does not fit all. Different demographics require different approaches, and that's especially true when it comes to seniors. As the population ages, more and more businesses are trying to figure out how to market to seniors. But marketing to seniors is not the same as marketing to other demographics. Well, here are 10 things that you need to know if you want to successfully market to seniors. First, what makes seniors' demographic unique and how to speak their language? Second, how to market to seniors using five key characteristics. Three, what are some common myths about seniors? Four, what are seniors concerned about? What keeps them up at night? Five, understand the unique needs and wants of senior consumers. Six, why you should listen to seniors on products and services. Seven, discover trends among senior consumers. Eight, what do seniors look for before they buy? Nine, what is the key to reaching the senior market? And 10, how marketing will change in the future to better serve seniors. And please make sure you stay to the end where I will explain sales and marketing automation are critical to remaining relevant in today's business world. Data is key to understanding your ideal customers and what they want. I'll explain how artificial intelligence allows you to collect user data and identify the people who are most likely to buy from you. First topic is what makes seniors demographic unique? and how to speak their language. Well, what makes seniors' demographic unique is that this generation has experienced a wide range of historical events. They have seen both world wars, the Great Depression, and the rise of technology. This has given them a unique perspective on life. I'll go through the various generations. The greatest generation is born between 1901 and 1927. The silent generation is born between 1928 to 1945. The baby boomers born between 1946 and 1964. Seniors have unique buying habits. They are more likely to research a purchase before making it. And they are also more likely to buy online. Seniors are increasingly using social media to stay connected with family and friends. In fact, nearly half of all seniors now use Facebook. So as the senior population continues to grow, companies will need to adapt their marketing strategies to reach this important demographic. But what makes the senior demographic unique is that they are the first generation of the Americans to benefit from advances in medical science and technology. So I'll cite some information from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Well, here are a few things that make them unique. They're the largest and the most influential generation in history. With over 76 million people born between 1946 and 1964, the baby boomers represent a huge portion of this population. They're also the wealthiest and the best educated generation in history. They're active, engaged, and connected seniors. And just because they're getting older doesn't mean that they're slowing down. In fact, many baby boomers are leading active lifestyles well into their golden years. 
They're also staying connected with technology and using it to stay engaged with the world around them. They're also redefining aging and what it means to grow old. Baby boomers are changing the way we think about aging. They're proving that you don't have to slow down or give up your passion just because you're getting older. In fact, many baby boomers are starting new businesses, traveling around the world, and making the most out of their retirement years. They're a powerful force for change in our society. Baby boomers have always been a driving force for change, and they will remain so as they age. They can help bring about positive change in our society through their influence and influence on social media on issues such as climate change, healthcare reform, social justice, and much more. They have a lot to offer their communities and the world. As baby boomers age, they continue to contribute to their communities in a variety of ways. They're making a difference in the world around them, whether through volunteering, mentoring younger generations, or charitable donations. They're also loyal to the brands that they trust. So it's important to build a relationship with them. Keep the following points in mind as you craft your marketing messages. They respond best to marketing strategies that focus on emotion over logic. They'd like to feel like they're in control, so give them options and let them make choices. Show them that you understand what they're going through. They'll appreciate the sentiment. Respect their intelligence and don't talk down to them because they do know what's going on in the world. Appeal to their senses. Use images, colors, and sounds that resonate with them. They respond best to marketing that is personal and relevant to their lives. Humor and storytelling are a powerful tool when marketing to seniors. They appreciate honesty and transparency from businesses. It's important to keep in mind their physical limitations when marketing to them. Online platforms like social media and email are also effective means of reaching out to them. So what traits or characteristics set them apart from the rest of us? Well, there are a few key things that define seniors. They include a strong work ethic, a dedication to family, a love of learning new things, a desire for independence, and the ability to adapt to change. The characteristics of older adults such as these have contributed to making this generation one of the most successful in history. Older adults have always been willing to work hard, whether it's in their careers or in taking care of their families. They're also lifelong learners, always looking for new opportunities to grow and improve. And when faced with challenges, they've shown time and time again that they're capable of adapting and overcoming whatever comes their way. So it's no wonder that seniors are often seen as an inspiration to younger generations. After all, they've set a high standard for what it means to live a full and a rewarding life. So for the folks in the audience, Please leave a comment with your thoughts on other characteristics that define seniors. And please make sure to stay to the end. I'll explain how sales and marketing automation is a game changer for businesses of all sizes. And by using data and automation to standardize your sales and marketing strategies, you can reap a host of benefits from increased sales to leads to easier and faster marketing tasks, more time to focus on strategic initiatives, and improve customer retention rates. The second topic is how to market to seniors using five key characteristics. As a marketer, it's important to understand the different characteristics of the generations you're targeting. Well, after all, each generation has different values, attitudes, and behaviors that affect their purchasing decisions. So let's take a look at five key characteristics of seniors and how you can use them to better market to this demographic. First one, they're loyal. One characteristic of seniors is that they tend to be loyal to brands they trust. Once they find a product or service that they like, they're likely to stick with it for years to come. This loyalty can be extremely valuable to businesses to work hard to earn and keep the customer's trust. To market effectively to this demographic, Focus on building trust with your audience through things like social proof, testimonials, reviews, transparency, and customer service. If you can show seniors that they can trust you, they're more likely to do business with you and keep coming back for more. Second, they're skeptical. Older adults have seen a lot in their lifetime, and as a result, they tend to be skeptical of claims that seem too good to be true. So make sure that your marketing messages are clear 
concise and supported by concrete evidence. When in doubt, err on the side of caution. Overpromising and underdelivering could damage your reputation in the long run. Third, they're tech savvy. Despite what some people might think, seniors are actually quite tech savvy, and the numbers are only growing as more members of this demographic embrace new technologies like smartphones and tablets. This means that businesses need to ensure that their websites are mobile friendly and easy to navigate. If not, they might be losing senior consumers before they even have a chance to engage with your brand. Fourth, they're social media users. Not only are seniors tech savvy, they're also active users of social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So this presents a great opportunity for businesses that want to reach this demographic. So remember to keep your tone respectful and your messaging relevant. Bombarding seniors with irrelevant ads and content is a sure way to turn them off from your brand. Five, they're brand conscious meaning they're more likely than other demographics to base their purchasing decisions on things like reputation, quality, and price point. As such, businesses need to make sure their branding is on point if they want to appeal to this group. This means having a strong visual identity that conveys the right message about your brand, using language that resonates with your target market, and ensuring that every touch point from your website design down to the packaging of your product consistent with your overall brand identity. Marketing effectively to seniors requires an understanding of what makes this demographic tick. From loyalty and skepticism to being tech savvy and social media users, businesses need to be aware of the specific characteristics that define this group in order to reach them most effectively. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to those who have just joined us. I know there are people all over the world who share the same passion as I, which is learning how to best serve the aging population. So please introduce yourself, where you're from, and what industry you're in. And also, please stay until the end to learn not only how to market to seniors, but also why sales and marketing automation is quickly becoming a must-have for businesses of all sizes. By using data to standardize sales and marketing strategies, you can gain greater insight into customer behavior, more effectively target prospects, and increase conversion rate. With sales and marketing automation, you can reach a broader audience with minimal effort. And perhaps most importantly, sales and marketing automation can help you manage leads more effectively, resulting in more sales and happier customers. So if you're not already using sales and marketing automation, stay until the end to learn some more. The third topic is, what are some common myths about seniors? Well, I will cite some information from the National Institute of Health. There are so many harmful myths about seniors. These myths can lead to seniors being marginalized and discriminated against. They can also prevent seniors from getting the care and support they need. Well, let's start with the fact that all seniors are not the same. Well, just like every 20-year-old is not the same, every 80-year-old is not the same. So we are all individuals with our own unique and set of experiences, traits, and outlooks on life. All seniors are grumpy and crotchety. Well, this is very hurtful and dangerous to assume that seniors are grumpy and crotchety. These stereotypes create problems in our society by preventing genuine human connections and by limiting opportunities for seniors. Seniors are set in their ways and resistant to change. Well, for example, if we assume that all seniors are resistant to change, we may miss out on implementing much needed changes in our senior care communities or in the way that we design products or services for seniors. Seniors are always sick and always in the doctor's office. Seniors are lonely and isolated. Seniors are helpless and dependent on elders. Seniors are technologically challenged. Seniors don't like to have fun. Depression is a normal part of aging. Dementia is an inevitable part of aging process. Well, if we believe that dementia and Alzheimer's disease are inevitable parts of aging, we may give up on finding treatment or cures 
for these de devastating diseases. Most accidents happen to seniors because they're old and frail. Well, if we assume that most accidents happen to seniors because they're old and frail, we may not take the necessary steps to make sure that our environments are safe for everyone. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Seniors aren't dogs. And seniors aren't interested in learning. Well, these myths about seniors are very harmful and create unnecessary barriers between generations. We need to open our minds and our hearts to the reality of aging in order to create a society that is truly inclusive and supportive of all members of the community. Well, hello everyone. Throughout the event, please let us know what your biggest pain points are, what you're struggling with, and what problems that you're solving. We're all here to learn from one another, and I want to make sure that we can address your issues, what matters most to you. So don't be shy. Let us know what's on your mind, and we'll do our best to help you out. And we also have a form in the comment that you can fill out so that you can reach out to us. The fourth topic is, what are seniors concerned about? What keeps them up at night? I will go through some fears of baby boomers heading into retirement. I will cite some information from Investopedia so that we know where the source is. By 2030, over 73 million Americans aged 65 and up will be approaching retirement, accounting for approximately 21% of the population. According to the Census Bureau, this compares to 49 million or 15% in 2016. And while retirement should be a time to enjoy the fruits of your labor, for many baby boomers, it's a time of anxiety and worry. According to recent study, baby boomers are the most fearful generation about retirement. Eight out of 10 baby boomers reported having at least one major fears about retirement. Well, here are a few concerns. Running out of money in retirement. This is perhaps the biggest fear of all. With longer lifespans and uncertain economic conditions, many baby boomers are worried that they won't have enough money to last them through their retirement years. Not being able to afford healthcare costs. Well, healthcare costs are rising at an alarming rate and retirees are often on a fixed income. This can make it difficult to keep up with rising costs and leaves many fearing that they'll be unable to afford the care they need, becoming a burden on their children and other family members. No one wants to be a burden on their loved ones, but as we age, it's inevitable that we'll need more help from others. This can be a source of great anxiety for many baby boomers who don't want to be a burden on their family. Dying before they have a chance to enjoy retirement. For many baby boomers, retirement is something they've been looking for for years. But with longer lifespans, it comes with increased risk of not making it to retirement. This is a real fear for many nearing retirement age. Losing their independence and having to rely on others for help. Independence is something most of us take for granted. But as we age, we may need help with everyday tasks like cooking, cleaning, and even bathing. This loss of independence can be very difficult to come in terms with and can cause anxiety about the future. Having to give up your hobbies. For many people, their hobbies are an important part of their lives and give them a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Having to give up these activities due to physical limitations can be difficult to accept for some baby boomers heading into retirement. Being bored in retirement. Well, after years of working full-time jobs, some baby boomers find themselves bored in retirement with nothing to do all day except perhaps watch TV or read books. While this may sound like heaven to some, it is extremely depressing for others who fear that they will never find anything that brings them joy again after retiring from working completely. The fear of moving into a nursing home or assisted living community. For many baby boomers, the thought of having to move into a nursing home or assisted living communities is a scary one. The reason for this is that there is a widespread misconception that these communities are places where people go to die. And while there are certainly some people who do end up dying in nursing homes and assisted living, but there are also many people who live long, healthy lives in these places. 
The concern about memory loss in dementia. Well, this is understandable, given that memory loss and dementia are very real risk for some as they age. However, it's important to remember that not everyone who experiences memory loss or dementia will end up in a nursing home or assisted living. In fact, many people who experience these problems are able to live relatively functional lives with the help of families and friends. The fear of being alone in retirement. Another fear among baby boomers about retiring is being alone. This is understandable given that many baby boomers are facing retirement without a spouse or partner. However, there are some ways to overcome this fear, such as joining social club or participating in community activities, support groups, and online forums. Understanding seniors' fears allows you to begin to understand their specific needs and plan how to market to them. Keep these in Keep these things in mind if you're targeting seniors in your marketing campaigns. This event was meant to bring together like-minded individuals from all over the world who share a passion for serving seniors. So we hope that you pick up something new. And for those that just join us in the event, please comment where you're from and what industry you're in. And what are your challenges and successes in your marketing to seniors? And also, please stick to the end. I'll explain how you can use all-in-one platform, Business in a Box, without having to pay for multiple subscription. This all-in-one platform is specifically designed for professionals serving older adults. Imagine having to stitch together sales and marketing data from a bunch of different platforms that don't talk to each other. It's a total nightmare, and it's something that no one should have to go through. So that's why using an all-in-one sales and marketing automation platform is so important. Not only does it streamline data management, but it also enhances team productivity and quickens time to market. Also, the robust reporting and analytics features help you make informed decisions. So it's the best way to standardize your sales and marketing strategies. Topic five. Understand the unique needs and wants of senior consumers. I will cite some information from the National Institute of Health. One of the most difficult challenges for seniors is determining how to remain in their home. This shift is often more pronounced in seniors as they approach in their golden years. Many seniors are looking for products and services that will allow them to maintain their independence, stay connected with loved ones, and live comfortably. To better serve senior consumers, it's important to understand their needs and desires. So let's go through what those key components are. Accessibility. Many seniors want easy access to their home, whether it might be ramps or widened doorways. This can often be a matter of safety since falls are a common cause of injury among seniors. So let's talk about independence. Many seniors want to maintain their independence. They do not want to rely on family or friends for assistance with daily tasks such as cooking, cleaning, and transportation. So this requirement can be met in a variety of ways. One option is to offer products and services that help seniors to live independently. Well, here's just a few. Automatic pill dispensers, home health aids, GPS tracking devices, fall detectors, remote monitoring system. So let's talk about connection. As people age, they often become more interested in staying connected with friends and family members. Providing opportunities for seniors to interact with other people in their community is one way to meet the need of connection. This might include things like senior centers, social clubs, or religious organizations. Participating in these activities can help seniors feel connected and engaged with the world around them. So let's talk about comfort. Seniors often want something cozy, comfortable place to call home. They may prefer soft furniture or warmer colors. This is especially true for seniors who suffer from conditions like arthritis or dementia. Convenience. Seniors often appreciate convenience features like grab bars in the bathroom or levers instead of knobs on doors. These small changes can make a big difference in the quality of life for seniors. For those who have difficulty feeding due to tremors or other hand movement issues, a spoon with a stabilizing handle that gives us more control over the spoon and comes in various sizes. So that's another thing would be a great product to have. 
Another one is a standing frame that allows seniors who have difficulty sitting or standing for extended periods of time so that they can do it comfortably and safely. So as we age, it's important to keep the seniors' needs and wants in mind. For seniors, this means making sure that their homes are accessible, comfortable, and convenient. And by understanding the needs and wants of senior consumers, we can better serve them and help them enjoy their golden years. You know, you can try putting yourself in the shoes of senior consumers. Imagine that you're a senior who is trying to live independently in your home. What kinds of things would make your life easier? What would make you feel more comfortable and safe? And by trying to see things from their perspective, you'll be able to understand their needs and wants. What was once a simple trip to the grocery store is now a daunting task. And even something as simple as buying a new pair of shoes can seem insurmountable. So businesses can develop products and services that make seniors' lives easier and more enjoyable by taking the time to truly understand their needs and concerns. They will not only improve the lives of seniors, but they will also create loyal customers for years to come. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that are from different places and industries so it'd be great if you could introduce yourself, put it in the comments, and let us know a little bit about yourself. And also, we're here to learn from each other and make new connections, so don't be shy. So at the later end of the event, I will discuss how sales and marketing automation can help you improve your sales and marketing outcomes. By automating sales and marketing tasks, you can free up time to focus on strategic initiatives, improve customer retention, and reduce costs. Remember, automation allows you to do more with less staff. With sales and marketing automation, you can easily integrate with platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, WhatsApp, and much more. I'd like to let you know that we are here to learn from one another. So please leave a comment to let us know what your biggest challenges are. What problems are you solving? We can all benefit from hearing about your experiences. And also, please stay until the end to hear how sales and marketing automation platform can save time, money, and a lot of headaches. Since um, um, it's an all-in-one platform, you don't have to combine subscriptions that don't work together. One subscription for all of your needs in sales and marketing means better communication, streamlined data management, improved team productivity, faster time to market, and robust reporting and analytics. Sales and marketing automation is smart business. This is more efficient and it frees up your team to focus on the important tasks. Plus, it lets you be more human. Automating tedious processes allows you to spend more time getting to know your senior consumers and prospects. So topic six, why it's important to listen to seniors on products and services. Well, here are a few insights from the National Institute of Health. They know what works and what doesn't. It's no secret that seniors are one of the most important customer groups for businesses. They have a lot of disposable income and they tend to be more loyal to brands. Many seniors also have a lot of wisdom and life experience. They know what they like and don't like, and they're not as easily influenced by marketing ploys or the latest trends. So if you want to create products that seniors will actually want to use, it's important to take their feedback into accounting during the product development process. Seniors have their own set of values that guide their purchase decisions. So if something doesn't align with their moral code, they're not going to buy it, no matter how much advertising tells them they should. By taking the time to listen to seniors and incorporating their feedback into your product development cycle, you're more likely to create products that they'll actually want to use. Seniors save you money. Let's face it, we live in a consumerist society, and it's easy to get caught up in the latest trends and fads. But just because something is new doesn't mean it's better or worth your hard-earned money. As for feedback, and seniors can help you save money by steering you away from expensive products and services that aren't worth your time or money. 
Also, seniors are happy to share their thoughts and advice. If you ask most seniors for their opinion on a product or service, they'll likely be more than happy to share their thoughts. They know that their life experience is valuable, and they're usually more than happy to pass it on, their wisdom to anyone that asks. So next time you're considering a new product or service, don't be afraid to ask seniors for their opinion through the surveys via forms. You can also create blog or podcasts where seniors share their thoughts on various topics related to product testing and consumerism. Also, use hashtags, for instance, hashtag senior opinions on Twitter or Instagram. That can also be used to tweet on a post in those two platforms. You can also create Facebook groups specifically for discussions between businesses and seniors about product testing and consumerism. Seniors are also great at finding products and services that work well and are worth the money because they've been around for a while. They've had the chance to try out lots of different products and services, and they know which ones are worth their time and money. Their perspective is often more holistic. Seniors often take a more long-term view. This means that they're more likely to consider all aspects of a product or service before making a decision. Companies should ask seniors what they want in products and services instead of making assumptions. This way, you will get to know seniors on a deeper level so that you can understand their needs and wants. Use feedback from seniors to design better products and services, help connect seniors to the right resources if they're having trouble finding something, and let them know that their voice matters and show them that you do care about their opinions by following through on suggestions or improvements. Remember, their insight can improve your offerings. Topic seven, discover trends among senior consumers. As a marketer, it's important to always be aware of latest consumer trends. This helps ensure that your products and services are relevant and appealing to your target audience. From a recent study from McKinsey, here are a few key trends emerging among senior consumers. The first trend we're seeing is that seniors are becoming more tech savvy. A recent study from the Pew Research Study indicates that four in 10 seniors now own smartphones. This is a significant increase from just a few years ago. So as seniors become more comfortable with technology, they're also becoming more reliant on it. So whether it's using a self-checkout machine at the grocery store or keeping up with family on Facebook, seniors are using technology to make their lives easier. Seniors are using the internet for things like banking, shopping, and researching health information. Some seniors are even learning how to code. Technology can be really helpful for people who want to stay active and engage as they get older. So the internet can be a great resource for finding deals on things like travel and entertainment. And some seniors are even sharing their life experiences online by starting blogs or sharing their online dating experience. So this trend has a few implications for marketers. You should consider creating content that is geared towards seniors. This could include tips for using new technology or even stories about how technology has made life easier for seniors. Other content could be, let's say, recipes, health tips, exercise ideas for seniors, promoting positive stereotypes of aging adults in the media, feature inspiring seniors doing amazing things and offer advice on overcoming common struggles. And another thought is uh, offer advice on how to manage finances in retirement. Okay, so the second trend that we're seeing is that seniors are becoming more health conscious. Nearly 80% of seniors said that they are interested in learning more about healthy eating habits. This is a significant increase from just a few years ago. As seniors become more aware of their health, they're also becoming more interested in taking steps to improve it. So this trend has a few implications for marketers as well. It's important to make, uh, to make sure that your products and services are relevant to seniors' health concerns. This could include anything from fitness trackers to healthy cooking recipes, blog posts about staying healthy as you age, and tips for making healthier choices in your everyday life. More seniors are getting into physical activities. Yoga and Pilates are becoming increasingly popular among older adults. 
they're also becoming more conscious about what they eat. Many seniors are following vegan or vegetarian diets. And instead of relying on prescription drugs to treat their health issues, they're turning to natural remedies. Meditation and mindfulness are another way that seniors are choosing to stay healthy and relax. And more seniors are living independently for as long as possible. They're staying active in their communities and taking up new hobbies like photography and painting to keep their minds active. So seniors are even using technology to improve their health. So the third and final trend that we're seeing is that seniors are becoming more social. A recent study found that nearly 70% of seniors said they were interested in meeting new people and making new friends. This is a significant increase from just a few years ago. So as seniors become more socially active, they're also becoming more open to trying new things and engaging with new activities. Seniors have a wide range of digital abilities, so marketers must be aware. Some seniors use social media while others have never heard of it. So make sure to customize content for seniors. This means clearly explaining things step by step. Seniors are more likely to engage with images and videos than with long text. Your website and social media platform should be easy to navigate. And by using these tips, you can make sure that your marketing reaches a senior demographic. Um, please stay until the end of the presentation to learn more about sales and marketing automation in how to cost-effectively target campaigns to seniors. Automation lets you do more with less staff, saving time and money. Automation can also help you gather customer data. And with this data, it can help you personalize campaigns and reach your audience. Topic eight, what do seniors look for before they buy? Well, the top things that seniors look for before they buy, and they are reliability. For seniors, reliability is key. They'll check for reviews from other seniors, talk to friends and family members who already own the product, and try it before making a commitment. They prefer products with fewer features than um, that are easier to use. And if something goes wrong, they want to know that there is a good warranty in place and that customer support is available to help troubleshoot. In short, they're looking for products that will make their lives easier, not harder. Another item they consider is ease of use. Well, as we get older, our bodies change and things um, that were once easy to do might become more difficult. And that's why seniors often look for products that are easy to use and require minimal effort. Ease of use is important for safety. Ease of use is important for independence. Ease of use is important for quality of life. Another component seniors consider is safety. Well, as we age, a sense of invincibility starts to fade. Seniors are more likely to suffer from chronic health conditions, experience a fall, be a victim of a crime, or have an accident at home. So that's why seniors will consider safety when making a purchase. And here are a few. GPS tracking devices, medical alert system, fall alert systems, home security systems, identity theft protection services. These are just a few items making seniors' life easier. Another component they consider before making a purchase is value for money. Well, for seniors who are on a fixed income, value for money is key because they must be careful with their money and make the most of it. Fixed income seniors must budget carefully and choose what they can afford. So when looking at products, they typically consider how long they'll last and if it meets their needs and if it's affordable. Another component is customer service. Customer service is very important for seniors. You want to know that if you have any problems with a product you purchase, there will be someone there to help you resolve them quickly and efficiently. Good customer service can be a difference between making a repeat purchase or taking your business elsewhere. So if you're selling products or services to this demographic, it's important to keep in mind these factors so that you can better meet the needs and the expectations. And by offering reliable products at a fair price with good customer service, you'll be sure to win over seniors again and again. If you haven't had a chance to introduce yourself, so please do so. We'd love to hear about your successes and challenges. Perhaps we can all learn from one another.
Topic eight, what is the key to reaching the senior market? I'm gonna go through some key components. Products that improve seniors' independence. One way to market products that improve seniors' independence is to focus on their feelings of isolation and loneliness. As people age, they often lose touch with their friends and family. They might move into a new city or their loved ones might pass away. So as a result, they can feel isolated and alone. So here are just a few items to consider. Senior alert system, remote control car with network capabilities, GPS tracking device, Apple Watch fall detection, a book reader or an audio book player for simulation and engagement, slippers that detect when someone has fallen, advertising that focuses on how your product can help them stay connected with the people they love can be very effective. Another angle to take is to focus on how your product can help seniors stay active and engaged in their communities. Many seniors feel like they are invisible and that their contributions are no longer valued. There are many products on the market that can help seniors stay active, such as walking shoes, activity monitors, and puzzles. Gardening, playing games, dancing, and listening to music are great ways for seniors to stay active, both mentally and physically. Taking regular walks is a great way to reduce stress levels and improve mental clarity. Showing them how your product can help them stay involved in the community can be a powerful way to reach this market. Another item is apps and digital products to improve seniors' engagement. Well, the first step is understanding that many seniors are already familiar with technology. They just don't use the same devices as perhaps younger generations. A study from the Pew Research Center found that nearly half of Americans aged 65 and older own smartphones, while another third own desktop or laptop computers. And those numbers are only going up as more seniors enter the digital age. It's important to make your product easy to use from the get-go. Keep the design simple and straightforward with large buttons and clear instructions. Avoid using jargon or technical terms that might confuse them, and always offer customer support in case they need help using your product. It's also important to remember the price is always a consideration for seniors. They're on fixed income, so they need to be able to justify the cost of your product. Keep in mind that seniors want products that help them stay connected with family and friends without having to rely on someone else, whether it's video chat, social media, or simply being able to call a loved ones whenever they want, giving seniors the ability to stay connected will go a long ways in making your product successful. Here are a few examples. Google Arts and Culture App is a perfect one for exploring new cultures and learning about art history. Amazon Prime Video has tons of great movies and TV shows that can keep seniors entertained for hours. The Calm app is perfect for helping you relax and de-stress after a long day. Headspace is another great meditation app that seniors can help get in touch with your inner peace. So if you keep these four key components in mind, many seniors are already familiar with technology. Make your product easy to use, offer customer support, consider pricing, focus on connectivity features that matters most to seniors. Seniors want an app or digital product that allows them independence while still staying connected with loved ones. So if you can provide that, you'll be on your way towards marketing successfully. So the next component is senior living to enhance living. Well, every senior has different priorities when choosing a senior living community. There are some common threads that run through most decision-making process. Location is often a top priority, especially for seniors who want to be closer to family or escape harsh winters. Affordability is also a key consideration. As many seniors are on a fixed income, the level of care is another important factor to take into account. Some seniors require more assistance with activities of daily living, while others are independent but appreciate having access to on-site health care. Safety and security are also important concerns for many older adults. They want to know that they'll be well taken care of in case of an emergency and that their belongings will be safe. A sense of community is another common reason why seniors choose to move into senior living. 
whether it's being surrounded by people their own age or having access to a communal amenities like fitness centers, many seniors appreciate the social benefits of living in a close-knit community. Nutrition is also an important consideration for many seniors. They may be looking for access to healthy meals or assistance with meal planning and preparation. Socialization is another common request among seniors moving to senior living. They may be seeking out new friends or opportunities to participate in activities and outings. As the population of seniors continues to grow, there is an increasing demand for senior living options. However, the competition is also fierce, so operators must be savvy about how they market their services. Here's a question submitted by an attendee prior to the event that I would like to answer. And the question is, what are the questions that families have for the senior living communities? And how has this changed since the pandemic? Well, before the pandemic, families touring senior living communities were mostly concerned with amenities, location, and price. But now, they have a whole new set of questions. How well is the community prepared to deal with the potential outbreak? What precautions are in place to keep residents safe? How often are common areas clean? What is the policy for visitors? And perhaps most importantly, what is the community doing to provide residents a sense of connection and purpose? These are all valid questions and families deserve honest answers. Unfortunately, there is no one size fits all answer, but each community should be transparent about their policies and procedures. With so many unknowns, it's more important than ever for families to ask tough questions and do the research before making a decision. These questions and answers are frequently driven by the CDC, local governments, and owner and operators, of which you as a marketer may be one of many key stakeholders. So I hope that helps you. Another element of what seniors look for regarding transportation with feasibility and safety. When it comes to finding transportation, seniors have different priorities than the rest of us. For some, getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible is the number one concern. Others might prioritize comfort or affordability. No matter what their priorities are, all seniors deserve a mode of transportation that meets their needs and make them feel safe and comfortable. So let's take a look what seniors look for in transportation. Ease of use. Vehicles and transit system should be designed with seniors in mind, making it easy for them to access without any difficulty. Comfort. Riding in a cramped, uncomfortable vehicle can be really tough for older adults. They often need more legroom and space to move around. Public transit should also be heated or cooled properly so that seniors can stay comfortable no matter the weather outside. Third, affordability. Many seniors live in on a fixed income, so they need transportation options that are affordable enough for them to use regularly. This could mean discounted rates for public transit or vehicles that are cheaper to operate overall. Fourth component, safety features. It's important for vehicles and transit systems I like to have safety features like handrails and wheelchair ramps built in. Uh, the fifth item is accessibility. Not everyone who is a senior uses a wheelchair or has trouble walking, but many still face challenges when trying to get around town independently. So everything from sidewalks to buses should be accessible for everyone, regardless of age or ability level. Item 10, how will marketing change in the future to better serve seniors? Well, marketing will become more personalized. Seniors have been market to in, in a very impersonal way. They're used to ads that interrupt their favorite TV shows, pop up on their computer screens, and show up in their mailbox uninvited. This approach is not effective. To better serve seniors, marketing must become more personal. That means creating ads that are relevant to seniors' interests and needs, and that don't feel like an intrusion. Use familiar language and images that will resonate with them. You can also tell stories about real people who are similar to your target audience. It's important to appeal to their emotions and tap into shared experiences. Make sure to keep content short, 
easy to read, and visually appealing. So technology will play a larger role in marketing to seniors. Some of the most common ways that technology is used in senior marketing are online ads, social media campaigns, and website design. Providing a simple and convenient way for seniors to communicate, such as a chat box, um, all of this explains why sales and marketing automation are so important in serving this demographic. Marketing will be more interactive and engaging. Share how the product or service has helped you. Create a video series with senior customers sharing their stories. Have seniors submit photos or videos showing how they use a the product or service. Create videos of senior customers describing your product or services. Another way that marketing will change is that health and wellness will be a key focus for marketing to seniors. The use of social media will continue to grow among seniors. Marketing messages will be shorter and easier to understand. Marketing must become more human. That means using language that seniors can understand and creating ads that tell a story that resonates with them emotionally. Brands need to focus on building trust with senior consumers. There is an increased focus on lifestyle products and services for seniors. As the number of bilingual people grows, so does the importance of multilingual content. Marketing must become more accessible. Physical limitations or lack of technological know-how prevent many seniors from using the internet or other digital channels. So websites and ads must be easy to navigate and understand to better serve the seniors. Also, use print or TV to reach seniors who aren't online. Marketing must become more inclusive. Marketing should include seniors of all races, ethnicities, genders, sexual orientation, and socioeconomic background. Marketing must become more inclusive by featuring diverse seniors in ads and using respectful, understanding language. Marketing must become more authentic. Seniors want authentic marketing communications. Always be genuine, transparent, and honest. To market to seniors, you must understand their key characteristics. Seniors are health conscious. They want to stay active. They value relationships and families. They're also tech savvy, and they are a powerful consumer force. When marketing to seniors, consider their needs and wants. Seniors want products that help them stay healthy, active, connected, and make their lives easier. They're also more likely to shop online. So marketing to seniors is not only important for businesses, it's also important for society as a whole. So as a senior population ages, they'll have a greater economic impact. Businesses must understand and serve seniors now or be left behind. Marketing to seniors is very bright. As the population ages, expect more products and services for this group, and marketers must monitor senior consumer trends to stay ahead. So next, I'd like to go through the value of sales and marketing automation. Automation is critical for sales and marketing success in today's competitive landscape. By using data and automation to standardize your sales and marketing strategies, you can keep your finger on the pulse of your ideal customers. Artificial intelligence is a means of collecting user data and identifying the people that are most likely to make a purchase. In One App was designed specifically for professionals who work with the older adults. The platform can give you these key insights about your prospect pool that will heavily influence your marketing strategies. These insights should direct you to the prospects most likely to engage with your campaigns and become customers. In short, using data and automation to standardize your sales and marketing strategies, it will help you reach out to target prospects at the right time, allowing you to serve more seniors and grow your business. The all-in-one sales and marketing automation platform helps you manage all of your sales and marketing data in one place. This way, you only need one subscription to manage all of your data rather than multiple subscriptions that do not communicate with one another. So the all-in-one sales and marketing automation platform can save you time and money.
by letting you see all of your customer data in one place, helping you automate repetitive tasks, providing insights that help you make better decisions, giving you the ability to track progress and results, allowing you to easily scale your sales and marketing efforts. So all-in-one sales and marketing automation platform offers a higher level of data integration. Since all of your data is stored in one place, it's easy to create comprehensive reports and track your progress over time. Um, with the traditional CRM, on the other hand, you often have to export your data into a third-party tool in order to get this kind of visibility. And that can be a pain, not to mention time-consuming. So in one app solves these challenges. One, lead generation. Two, customer acquisition. Three, database segmentation to improve targeting and personalization. Four, customer retention. Five, lead nurturing to develop better opportunities. Six, identifying sales ready opportunities. Seven, cross selling and upselling. Eight, management of omni channels. So we're gonna go through each one of them. The first one is lead generation. How to use marketing automation to generate leads from seniors. Marketing automation can be used in a variety of ways to reach seniors. One method is to send out targeted email campaigns. You can target your emails to seniors who are more likely to be interested in your products or services by using demographic information. You can also use behavior data to target your email so that the seniors who have previously expressed an interest in similar products or services receive your message. Social media is another way to reach out to seniors using marketing automation. Facebook, for example, you can create targeted ads that only seniors will see. Alternatively, you can use Twitter to reach seniors by tweeting about topics of interest to them. Finally, marketing automation can be used to direct traffic to a landing page where seniors can sign up for more information about your product or service. After they sign up, you can contact them via email or phone to continue the conversation. Customer acquisition. How to acquire senior consumers through sales and marketing automation. Sales and marketing automation can be a powerful tool for business looking to acquire senior consumers. By automating repetitive and time-consuming tasks, businesses can free up staff to focus on more important tasks such as developing relationships with potential customers. Well, the first step is to identify your ideal target audience. What are their needs and desires? What motivates them? And once you have a good understanding of who you're targeting, you can create a sales and marketing plan that's tailored to them. The key is to create a system that can target seniors specifically and deliver personalized messages that resonates with them. Of course, personalization is key when it comes to seniors. They don't want to be bombarded with generic messages. They want to feel like you understand them as an individual. So you can create landing pages to take potential customers through the process of learning about your product or service and making a purchase. So you can use retargeting ads to reach out to people who have visited your website but haven't made a purchase. Database segmentation to improve targeting and personalization when marketing to seniors. All right, um, so when it comes to marketing to seniors, it's not enough to just target ads to people over the age of 65. To really succeed in marketing to this demographic, you need to use database segmentation. This involves dividing your database into smaller groups based on factors like age, location, and interest. This way, you can ensure that your ads are more relevant and personalized to each group. Well, for example, if you're targeting seniors in Florida, you might want to focus on retirement living options. But if you're targeting seniors in New York, you might want to focus focus on discounts on Broadway shows. So let's talk about the importance of age in marketing to seniors. Well, as we age, our needs and wants change. What worked to marketing message to one age group of seniors may not work for another. For example, a message that targets seniors 55 years old might focus on the importance of staying active and engaged in life. This could be through working part-time, traveling, or taking up new hobbies. In contrast, a message for seniors 65 years old uh, might focus on the importance of planning for retirement and enjoying the fruits of their labor. 
This could be through saving money, investing in retirement accounts, or downsizing their home. The key is to understand the needs and wants of each age group and craft a message that resonates with them. And by using database segmentation, you can make sure that your ads are truly tailored to your audience and that what it takes to succeed when marketing to seniors. Customer retention. So how does in-one app sales and marketing automation help retain senior customers? Well, customer retention is vital for any business. Without loyal recurring customers, businesses would quickly go under. But as anyone who has ever run a business knows, retaining customers is easier said than done. It's an ongoing challenge to keep your customers happy and engaged, especially as they get older and their needs change. In one app, sales and marketing automation uh, automates lead capture, contact management appointment, scheduling, and document sharing. It gives sales teams real time customer interaction insights to quickly identify and resolve issues. In one app, sales and marketing automation features also help businesses understand their customers' needs and preferences, making it easier to create senior targeted sales and marketing campaigns. Lead nurturing to develop better opportunities. Well, how to nurture leads for better opportunities among seniors using sales and marketing automation? Sales and marketing teams can focus on building customer relationships by automating repetitive and time-consuming tasks. The automation can also identify sales opportunities before they are missed. Targeting seniors requires more than automation. Sales and marketing teams must also nurture relationships personally. Seniors are people with unique needs, not just another market segment. Sales and marketing teams can show seniors they are valued customers with specific needs in building relationships and offering tailored solutions. So sales and marketing automation only works then. So let's talk about how to use sales and marketing automation to identify sales ready opportunities among seniors. By automating tracking and analyzing data points like demographics, interests, and interactions, you can quickly get a good picture of who your ideal customers are and what they're looking for. And that's very important when it comes to making a sale. Now, it's not only about automation. It is all about truly understanding seniors. What motivates them? What do they need or want? When you take the time to get to know your target market, you're much more likely to be able to find sales-ready opportunities that resonate with them. So how to cross-sell and upsell senior consumers with sales and marketing automation? As any business owner knows, it's very important to cross-sell and upsell your current customers. This is especially true when selling to senior citizens. After all, they are more likely to have fixed incomes and be on a tight budget. By cross-selling and upselling them, with sales and marketing automation. You can not only increase sales, but also provide them with a better customer experience. For example, let's say you own a senior home care agency. You could cross sell your services by offering discounts for referrals or by bundling your services with other agencies. You could also upsell your services by offering a premium service such, such as concierge service or transportation service. By using sales and marketing automation, you can make it easy for seniors to find and purchase the services they need. So as a result, you'll be able to cross-sell and upsell more effectively while providing a better customer experience. So how to engage customers across multiple channels using in one app sales and marketing automation? Well, as a marketer, you understand how important it is to engage customers across multiple channels. But as the customer landscape continues to evolve, it can be difficult to keep up. In One App is a powerful sales and marketing automation tool that can engage senior consumers across multiple channels. It allows businesses to connect with their target audience via a variety of channels, including Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, web chats, email, social media, and push notifications. This also provides a wide range of features that can be customized to fit the needs of each business. For example, businesses can use this platform to create target lists, track customer engagement, and measure ROI.
The all-in-one sales and marketing platform integrates with a variety of third-party applications, making it easy for businesses to manage their entire sales and marketing ecosystem from one place. So as a result, in one app sales and marketing platform is a very important tool for businesses that want to engage senior consumers across multiple channels. Well, I'm excited to be working with industry leaders to streamline their sales and marketing process and systems through automation. This is a game-changing opportunity for them to expand their client base and scale their business. So right now, I offer a free strategy call. I encourage you to reach out by filling the form in the comment. I believe this work is transformational and has the potential to change lives. So I'm very thankful to be a part of it. So next, I'm going to go through the questions submitted uh, from the attendees. Here's a question from John. How technology can benefit long-term health? Thank you for asking that. Um, there are many ways that technology can benefit our long-term health from reducing stress levels to improving our sleep quality. For instance, technology can help us to better manage chronic conditions with wearable devices and apps that track our vital signs. We can catch problems early and prevent them from becoming serious. We can also use technology to manage our medications and make sure that we're taking them correctly. Um, also, online su uh, support groups and forums can provide invaluable emotional support for those dealing with chronic conditions. Technology can also help us make healthier choices in our everyday lives. For example, there are now apps that can track your diet and your fitness goals, as well as suggest healthy recipes and workout routines. There are also a growing number of apps that focus on mental health, providing tools for managing stress and anxiety. So by making these resources readily available, technology is making it easier for us to lead healthier lives. Here's another question from Greg. Um, what food or dining experiences seniors are most interested in? Well, um, as people age, their interests and appetites often change. For many seniors, food is no longer just feel. It's an important part of their social life. They may want to try new things or they may be looking for ways to connect with other people who share their interests. So when it comes to food and dining experiences, seniors have a lot of options. For instance, cooking classes, group meals, picnics, dining out, potlucks are just some ideas. So another question from Greg, what would attract seniors to live in senior living community from a food and beverage standpoint? Well, as we get older, our food and beverage preferences change. Some of us become more adventurous and want to try new things, while others prefer the comfort of foods that we loved for years. Well, regardless of where seniors fall in the spectrum, there are certain food and beverage, beverage experiences that are universal in their appeal. For example, socializing. For many seniors, food is more than just fuel. Like I mentioned previously, senior living communities that offer communal dining, cooking classes, or happy hours can be very appealing. Another item is healthy options. Well, as we age, we realize how important health is. Seniors who want to eat well may prefer a community with healthy food options, including vegetarian or vegan options. Another component is convenience. Cooking for one or two people is difficult. Seniors who don't want to cook can benefit from an on-site restaurant or delivery services. Another component, familiarity. Sometimes we just want home, something similar to home. Seniors who miss grandma's or uh, miss grandma's apple pie or grandpa's grilled chicken sandwiches will love a community that serves them. Another component, variety. Seniors who like variety might like community that offers themed dinners and international cuisine. Well, there is a senior living community for every food and beverage experience. Communities can attract seniors seeking unique dining experiences by offering a diverse menu. Another question is, what do our seniors think of robotics that take the place of servers, bartenders, and hosts? Well, our seniors have seen a lot of change. In their lifetimes, they've witnessed the event of cars, airplanes, television, 
and the internet. And now they're seeing the rise of robotics that are taking the place of servers, bartenders, and hosts. Some of the seniors are hesitant about this new technology. They worry that it might take away jobs and lead to even more social isolation. While others are very open-minded, seeing the potential for these robots to provide assistance and companionship. Well, regardless of their opinion on the matter, seniors all agree on one thing, the importance of human connection. They believe that no robot can replace the warmth and compassion of another person. And they hope that as we enter this new era of technology, we remember to value those things that make us truly human. Here's another question from Jamie. How is the landscape of senior living changing due to higher interest rates and a lower return on investments? And what can we expect in 2023, particularly as operators are forced to increase prices due to rising costs? Well, in the past, many seniors have relied on their retirement savings and investments to pay for their senior living expenses. But with the higher interest rates and the lower return on investments, that security is starting to window. Operators are being forced to increase prices in response to rising costs, meaning that senior living may become increasingly unaffordable for those who don't have the significant savings. Well, this shift may also impact the types of amenities and services offered in senior living communities as operators struggle to balance rising costs with the expectations of residents and their families. In 2023, perhaps, we might see a landscape where senior living may no longer be available to everyone and where operators will have to prioritize financially sustainability over larger amenities or luxuries. It's crucial for seniors and their families to plan ahead and consider all potential financial options for senior living. Otherwise, they may face tough choices in the future. Ultimately, higher interest rates and lower returns are affecting not only our financial security in retirement, but also our options for senior living. Well, here's a question from Frank. Many marketing campaigns for seniors appear to be based on fear as opposed to an honest appraisal of real risk. Is there a place for positive messages and effective education? Or is negative emotion the most effective strategy? Well, senior marketing campaigns use fear to sell products. Fall, scam, and isolation ads are very common. Well, these risks are real, but is fear the best way to market to seniors? There's no doubt that senior marketing campaigns can be effective, but who doesn't want to avoid a fall or a scam? But these ads are very manipulative, and they exploit our insecurities rather than risk assessment. This is not to say that senior marketing campaigns should avoid negative emotion altogether, but perhaps there's a place for positive messages and effective education as well. Consider an ad campaign that celebrates the joys of aging, staying active, spending time with family and friends, and trying new things. Seniors' happiness is worth fighting for. Positive messages and effective education may be more sustainable ways to market to seniors than negative emotions. Here's another question from Christy. Define the distinction between independent and assisted living because their needs and desires differ. Most of the time, adult children are involved in assisted living, and how do we market to the adult children? Well, independent living is a great option for those who are able to take care of themselves but want to live in a supportive community. Assisted living is best for those who need help with activities of daily living, such as eating, bathing, and dressing. And most of the time, adult children are involved in the decision to move into an assisted living community. So it's important to remember that when marketing to the adult children, we are not just selling them a product or service. We are helping them make a very difficult decision. The best way to market to adult children is to be honest, open, and understanding. We should avoid using scare tactics or making promises that we can't keep. Instead, we should focus on building trust and showing that we truly care about the well-being of their loved ones. So we need to be clear about what our services include and how much they cost. We also need to be transparent about any waiting lists or other potential delays. 
it's important to focus on the benefits of the services rather than the features. Here's a question from Kathleen. What are senior living best practices to increase occupancy? And what is senior living occupancy driven by? Well, as the baby boomer generation continues to age, the demand for senior living communities is only going to increase. That's why it's more important than ever for senior living communities to focus on occupancy rates. But what are the best practices for increasing occupancy rates? And what exactly is occupancy driven by? Well, let's take a look. The most important factor influencing occupancy rates is demand followed by location, type of community, and pricing. Communities need to do everything they can to increase demand for their product. Effective marketing is one way. Having a strong online presence and running targeted campaigns to raise community awareness and interest are very important. Providing excellent customer service um, is another way to boost demand. This includes responding to inquiries, giving tours of the community, and providing a positive application and move-in experience. If your community is in an area with a large senior population, you'll likely have a higher occupancy rate. If your community is close to shopping, restaurants, um, other amenities, you're likely to have higher occupancy rate. Offering waived moved-in fees or discounted rent can boost occupancy rates and make your community more appealing. Advertising and marketing can promote your community and draw new residents. Finally, excellent customer service will help retain residents and encourage them to recommend your community to friends and family. Staying current with industry trends also helps so that you can adjust your offerings. Well, thank you so much for those who submitted these outstanding questions. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I encourage you to fill out the form in the comment to explore ways how we can automate your sales and marketing strategies.